Good evening. Uh, my name is Richard Blackburn. Uh, thank you very much to the IFSCC for giving me this opportunity to speak to you all. I am Professor of Sustainable Materials at the University of Leeds in the UK. I'm also co-founder of Keracol Limited, which is a university spin-out company, um, and also our brand, Dr Craft. So I wanted to speak to you this evening and give this presentation around sustainable cosmetics and particularly some of the issues that I see within the cosmetics industry at the moment, particularly in relation to labelling and branding of so-called sustainable cosmetics, some of those problems and what we in our research and through our products are trying to do to address that. So I've been doing research into sustainability and more sustainable products at the University of Leeds for over 20 years, um, at a time when not really anybody was particularly talking about sustainability, certainly not like they are now. And so it concerns me when I see a lot of use of things like vegan labelling and, and other types of labellings that I'll mention through this presentation that start to also try to communicate ideas of purity, natural ingredients and sustainability when when absolutely vegan is not a synonym for those types of terms that, that you see that I've listed there. And also, if you look at some of the uh, iconography around vegan certifications, you'll see that constant plant based theme in those vegan labels. Um, and so I think that consumers have an expectation that if they're buying a vegan cosmetic, you might expect it to come from a plant, whereas, as I'll show you, that is not entirely or always the case. So the first thing I want to say is that this is not absolutely not an attack on vegan principles at all in terms of uh, your choices to be a vegan, what you might choose to eat, uh, etc. Um, but I think it's really important to understand what that means, certainly within a, the context of cosmetics and certainly for any cosmetic product to have that vegan certification. It needs to uh, fulfill all of these criteria that you see listed there. And certainly, as you would expect for a vegan product, that's very much around not using animal products or byproducts or any uh, of those types of products in manufacturing, no animal testing, no GM organisms, etc. But interestingly, um, and perhaps you might expect this, perhaps not, there's no requirement or criteria within vegan labelling that any of those ingredients must be plant derived or sustainable or natural. So actually, in theory, it's possible to have a vegan certified cosmetic product where 100 percent of the ingredients are made from fossil fuel derived petrochemicals without any natural content at all. Um, and I'll show you some examples of, of exactly where that is the case. So if we take this first example, this is a shower gel, um, which is made by a major British manufacturer and it's certified by the Vegan Society and carries that trademark that I, I showed you before from, from the Vegan Society with the, the sunflower on it. So if we ignore water and, and, and that as well is, is a really a, 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 bit, a bugbear of mine when people use include water as a percentage of any natural ingredients or uh, vegan ingredients that they say that you know 75 percent of our ingredients are natural and when you actually dig into it you know nearly 75 percent of that is water I, I don't really think that that should be allowed but let's let's move on from water uh, for the purposes of, of this presentation um, if we look at the rest of those ingredients you'll see that the vast majority are either petrochemical which I've um, shown in, in in red or potentially could either be uh, from petrochemicals, most probably uh, pet from petrochemicals, but could potentially also be uh, naturally derived. We're not really sure which I've categorized in orange. And then the remaining ingredients that are from nature or naturally derived ingredients, which I've shown in green. Um, and you'll see that for that particular shower gel, the only one that's in there that's from really from a natural source is the, the mango extract and, and the, the, the fragrance. And via that inky list there, which we, you know, we, we see listed in, in, in order of inclusion, it's probably around about 1% or less of the total. 
So even though this product bears the Vegan Society Sunflower logo on the, logo on the bottle, and even though the word natural appears four times on this product, probably around about 1% of the ingredients are natural or naturally derived. So this example is a moisturizing day cream, a face cream with an SPF 15.